Pros and Cons of Flutter and React Native for Mobile App Development Thalo. And welcome to today's discussion on the pros and cons of Flutter and React Native for Mobile App Development. Both Flutter and React Native are popular platforms for mobile app development, and each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Let's start with Flutter. Flutter is a cross-platform widget-based mobile app development framework that allows developers to build native-looking apps for both iOS and Android. It is built on top of the Dart language and uses the Dart engine for its development. Flutter has a fast development cycle, and it provides a consistent user experience across all platforms. It also supports animations, widgets, and custom components, making it a flexible and powerful development framework. However, one of the major drawbacks of Flutter is its high learning curve. Developers need to have a deep understanding of Dart and the Dart engine to use Flutter effectively. It also lacks support for native UI elements such as buttons, menus, and text fields, which can be a challenge for some developers. Now, let's talk about React Native. React Native is a mobile app development framework that allows developers to build native-looking apps for both iOS and Android using JavaScript and the React Native library. It is built on top of the React JavaScript library and the Android and iOS NDS. React Native has a faster development cycle and provides a consistent user experience across all platforms. However, one of the major drawbacks of React Native is its high development cost. It requires specialized knowledge of JavaScript and the React Native library, and it also lacks support for custom components and animations. Additionally, it can be challenging to deploy apps to multiple platforms using React Native, as each platform requires separate development and deployment. In conclusion, both Flutter and React Native have their own pros and cons when it comes to mobile app development. Flutter provides a fast development cycle and a flexible and powerful development framework, but it has a high learning curve. React Native has a faster development cycle and provides a consistent user experience across all platforms but it has a high development cost and lacks support for custom components and animations. Ultimately, the choice between Flutter and React Native depends on the specific needs and goals of the project. Thank you for watching today's discussion.